What's going on guys? Pro player FD back in the building with another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about SD tip tricks and spots on Stronghold. A lot of you guys want me to do keep doing these tips, so here I am. I want to keep it simple and short, so let's get right into it. We're gonna start here on offense. So first spot is right here. You guys didn't know you can climb on top of this staircase and then you can head glitch this. Now, normally this is better because you can see the outskirts of the rock and you can see top match in bedroom. You're in a very good spot. You know, you're pretty much in a head glitch. It's going to be hard for that guy to kill you. It's better than usually doing this because if that guy comes out and you miss your sniper shot or even your AR shots, he can easily wipe you out just because you're out in the open. Another cool little spot, instead of using the staircase head glitch, what you can do is simply go like this, crouch, and boom, you have a head glitch of your own. This spot is a little better because you can see also the head glitch of this, top bedroom, and the outskirts rock pretty much. You won't see them too well if they cross, but you know, you never know, you might, and you just have full control of this side. Another good spot that I see people use pretty often now is this rock right here. You can actually jump on top of this rock, and then you can watch the bottom mansion rush. Now, the reason this spot is so good is because as I'm watching this, you can also see someone cross this top bedroom, and you pretty much have a good position to kill this guy easily as he come out. And if a guy decides to come here, he won't see you and just poke out and kill him too. Another cool little thing is the outskirts. Now, you guys know this outskirts. This rock is like a head glitch. You can literally do this. And the crazy part is, obviously, someone isn't going to rush you every time. But it's a little tip to keep noted, you know, that you can head glitch this rock. You can even play like this, just lay down, and they will literally run right past you, walk right over you. Now, I'm going to show you a quick default spot. It's obviously this head glitch right here. It's good because you can see a guy come outskirts. You can see a guy top bedroom. And you can see if a guy pushes in said head glitch now this guy might be able to back away in time that guy might be able to back away but at least you get a lot of information for just coming here now this wall right here is a pretty good spot as well if you guys do not know if you jump right here you can see window and kind of the flank bunker flank if they decide to try to flank you and then if you also go a little bit more to your left you can see the b-bomb and pretty much mid alley now i don't know if you'll be able to hit that shot but if you can good luck my friend now there's two ways you can check middle and b-bomb first off there's this way you simply come right here and then you just jump over, you can see the whole beat bomb, you can see the mid alley, and then you can obviously see someone like pushing up or around here. Another good spot is this barrel head glitch. The reason it's so good is because you're seeing pretty much almost through a crack. Like you're in a very good head glitch. If they're on the bomb, you know, they're a little bit more on the open. And also another default spot is this spot, of course, right here. You can see the bottom mansion push, you can see the top mansion, you can see the guy trying to snipe you through the cracks, you can see the guy trying to snipe you up there, and you can see B-Bomb. So you pretty much have coverage of the whole spot, gives you a lot of information for you and your team. And then on top of that, if someone's trying to snipe you, you can also try to kill them, whether it's the cracks, the tree, top mansion, whatever it is. And then of course you can use this spot right here, which is kind of the same thing, just a little bit more closer. And I feel like it's a little bit more risky. Even though here you are you are out in the open, at least you can like dip real quick. So now I'm going to show you a couple ways where you can snipe mansion or middle. So right here you jump on top of this little ledge and you want to boost a little bit to the left and obviously aim in. You can maybe snipe a guy top mansion and try to aim there. Another simple way you can do is just come right here to this tree and you just jump up. And look at this. You can see top mansion, bottom mansion, pretty good sight. You can snipe a guy just camping in the middle corner. And this is really good to do. Some people like to obviously go in one of these spots and you might get a first blood. And the last way, make sure someone's head glitching this and watching your bunker. Or he can simply come in real quick, just watch it for you. And what you want to do is just kind of the same concept. Jump on top of this and just start shooting down middle. Now let's go on defense side. Now this is obviously a spot that I'm pretty sure a lot of people know just from watching pro snipe and every and wagers or whatever it is. You jump on top of this Humvee right away and you jump off and you want to aim down the middle of these two trees right here. And you guys just saw, I can see window, I can see mid alley push. And usually you can get a first blood. It's very, I, I would say it's not that hard to, to get the sniper kill. It's not. So another cool thing is you can actually check the B-bomb from here. It's pretty much the same concept, but instead you want to look down. And look at this. I can see the whole B-bomb. I can see if someone's planning or defusing if I planted it and even get the kill. Now for this side, there's not really much sniping spots except the one I showed you with the Humvee. Obviously you can go top bedroom, go right here peek out maybe get a sniper kill you obviously can get a lot of information from here and now if they're pre-aiming you you might be screwed you could go with this window try to get this guy at the window kill you could even head glitch the bomb uh you know head glitching a bomb could be very effective because you're obviously head glitching a bomb the only thing is you're a little bit out in the open someone flies up he might be able to hit that shot but at the same time it's going to be hard for them you know, you get to see middle alley, the window head glitch, this head glitch right here. Some people like to go to this ledge and head glitch it. And then another good thing, I guess another good way to snipe is through the cracks right here. So you can simply, what you want to do is jump on top of this ledge right here. And then you can just, you can pretty much just hop boost, hop boost, hop boost. So you want to hop and boost once, hop boost and boost once. And then you can even get a kill or just hold your boost. 
It's a very good way to get information and try to snipe someone. Now, if you're trying to go for a world star snipe, what I recommend you wall run up here. And yes, you can wall run up here. And then hit him with a boom. Okay, guys. Now, I'm going to show you spots around the whole map very quickly. Keep them noted because I'm going to go by very fast since there's a lot of them. And then we're going to go to S&D bomb plant spots. Okay, guys. So, we're going to start off back here. I'm going to go every spot really quickly. Show you guys some cool things. So, first off, you didn't know this corner right here is actually a very strong corner. You can actually jump into this. So, what you want to do is kind of go like this. You can see someone comes out. Man, you can see crawl, someone crosses right by you. And you're in a very hidden spot. Someone's literally going to walk right inside or is going to walk right past you. Another very cool good spot is this ledge right here to watch the bunker flank. So you can, as you can see, you can literally either post up right here and let them come right by. You literally get first blood. Or if you want, you can kind of watch the lacrosse and then maybe post up. Now, if you guys didn't know, you can actually go to this humpy right here and prone and actually watch the bunker flank. Now, of course, they can kind of see you if they have hawk eyes and, they're, and they have a good, some good eyesight. So be careful. Now, there's two good ways to watch in the B-Cross. You can either sit at this little ledge, which I wouldn't recommend 100%, because if they come to this head glitch, you might die. And then there's obviously this one as well. You can go on top of this Humber right here. Instead of laying under, you're going to go on top of it, and boom, you can see them cross on the B. And then, of course, if you really want to get freaky with it, you can go on top of the statue right here, and then go kind of to this ledge, and you can see the same exact thing. You can see that they cross right into B. Now, back to the statue. This statue is a really good spot, because you can do this. You can literally watch everything from the statue. Or you can go on this part, and it's pretty much a head glitch. You can see the top mansion flank, you can see the bottom porch, and you can see the right mansion. So you pretty much have whole mansion control, and just you're in a head glitch. Like, it's so dominant. So this van right here has actually two pretty good spots. You can prone right here. You can see bottom mansion, porch. You can see anyone pretty much flanking. They can't really see you. That's a lot harder to see. And then you can also go on top of the mansion. What I like to do is go in the trees, kind of back up a little bit. And I'm sort of hidden. Not, I'm not obviously like holy shit hidden, but you know, I am in a pretty good spot and I should be able to get first shot whoever's around me because I'm already looking at them. Another cool spot, which I don't consider cheating because it doesn't say you're out of bounds until you're farther out of bounds, is right here. So what you can do is actually, you can actually go on this other half almost all the way. So right here you can see a little bit more. Nope, I already broke the, broke the boundary right, right here. So what you can do is go right here and literally do this. People are going to run right past you. People are going to go right in front of you. And it's easy kills. I know. Pretty cool spot, right? Now, obviously, this porch is a very good spot. But what I feel like a lot of people don't know is you can simply watch the cross from crouching. Look at this. You can see if they cross at a bomb. And then you can react to it. And it's very hard for them to see you. So, it's a very good spot. Make sure you know about this. Another very good spot that I kind of skipped is this corner right here. So, this corner is really good is because it's, it's, it's random. First of all, they don't expect you to be here. Second of all, if a guy drops down, you'll pretty much kill him first just because he's going to look straight into the porch. And if a guy walks right here, you already have first shot. It's a good random corner to use, especially in clutch situations, so make sure you try to use it. By the A-bomb, there really isn't much spots to use. Some people like to sit on this desk, kind of head glitches, sort of. Your body's barely poking out. Some people like to sit in this corner. It's very hidden, pretty random. People don't always check it. And then you can obviously head glitch the bomb, or you can even sit under the staircase right here. So there's obviously a couple spots down here. You can sit, head glitch the staircase. You can come to the couches, head glitch this. You can go to the desk, head glitch that. And then a cool little thing is you can actually prone right here at behind the couches and you can watch the whole wall run. You know, you can maybe sort of set up some strategy with your teammates with that. So obviously other than this corner right here in the top mansion or maybe even this corner right here because you can see everything. You can see the wall run, you can see someone pushing you. You can see someone close up top mansion. Another good spot that people don't use often but I think is very dominant is this spot right here. Now the reason this spot is so good is because it's the same concept but you're more hidden. You can see if someone goes bottom mansion, you can see someone's... Oh my god, to a shock charge. You can see someone's going to the top staircase. You can see if someone's wall run. Dominant spot. Now top office. There's two spots up here. There's obviously this spot right here. Very good. Very hidden. Usually if you go around this corner, it's kind of hard to see the full thing if the guy's right here. So you kind of have to peek out. By the time the guy's peeking out, you know, usually you can react and just hopefully kill him. And then of course, this spot is really good. Now this computer right here is your best friend. Even though people still check it, I'm about to show you guys why it's still extremely dominant. Now, the main thing is you got to be careful because if you poke out, what I was showing you some sniper spots earlier, is you can't get sniped. So what you want to do is make sure you're always more to the right than you are to the left. You got to make sure you're around this area here. And the reason this spot is so good, you guys see that thing right there? Well, guess what? If they jump up, you can see their shadow. So you pretty much have first shot or you pretty much anticipate someone there. So you both might know you're there. So it's whoever wants a gunfight. And I'm going to show you guys really quickly in case you don't believe me. So look at this. Boom. You can see my shadow. You can see the shadow. So at this part, you're, it's visible. Like, you can see this part. So you see where the sun is? 
that part right here you can see it so you will see someone coming up so this corner right here is obviously pretty good you can pre-aim the jump up but a lot of people anticipate that so what you can start doing and what people should start doing more is just simply sitting up here and watching the jump up you can't get shot from the left and then obviously they're gonna, you're gonna catch them off guard because they're gonna literally jump into your gun and a quick little tip before we move on you guys saw i was doing this little ledge jump earlier you know looking down middle well guess what you can do it you can do it back so this wall you go on this ledge right here and boom you can see into the spawn too okay guys finally after showing you a lot of shit we got to the bomb plants so right here we're gonna plant this way and the reason this spot is right good obviously if you guys play snd a lot you already know the dizzy you can obviously see it from window and then you can see it from what i was showing you guys earlier you can simply go middle alley right here you don't even need to be in this position. You know, you can see the bomb plant from right here. You don't need to be in that position. You can simply come middle alley and do this. And that's something a lot of people should start doing more because it's, people would always check this window. But if you're here, you're kind of more hidden. Another way you could plant B bombs. What I was telling you guys earlier, you really simply want to plant it right here. You want to plant it behind the bomb. This is good if you get control of their base because you can't get shot from yours. You want to plant it right here. Get the shit down right here. And then what you want to do is go on top of this Humvee jump up and look at this you can kill the bomb guy from their spawn it's pretty simple pretty damn easy it just takes a lot of practice to be honest those are the main two spots guys other than that what a lot of people like to do is just plant in here simply because you can see it from window mid alley and pretty much middle completely it's a very good power spot other than that it just comes down to situational plays now this a bomb is a little better compared to some other maps so what you can do is plant it anywhere in the front but the more you're facing the door the better so you can plant it like something right here as soon as you get this bomb down i mean you can play it very well you can give up 10 seconds rotate top mansion drop bottom mansion go like this no one on bomb go back top mansion spot nothing decide to go back bottom mansion and you can see the bomb from this doorway which is very very clutch so what you want to do it is not plan it like this but you want to stretch it so that way they can't see you if they're checking bomb from somewhere here they can't see you so what you want to do is stretch it like this right here and then once you get this bomb down you can play a couple ways you can obviously see from bottom here bottom mansion you can use the porch spot i showed you this spot is obviously a little bit I wouldn't use this spot right away just because they're going to check it. But a spot I would recommend is probably this spot right here. Or you can just play top mansion. You know, wait a couple seconds. Spot nothing. Drop down. Check bomb. Nothing. Go back top mansion. Something like that. Other than that, you can just plan in the back, you know, for to be safe. Just so you don't get shot from the front and your teammates hold your porch. And after that, it's a situational place, guys. There's only a couple spots on every map. You know, there's not much you can do with it. It's just after that, it's just situational plays, you know, playing together as a team and communicating. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I know it's very long. It took very long to record everything. So make sure you leave a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate that. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe as well to my channel. It means a lot. This has been your boy, Apathy. All have a great day, and I'm out. Please. Please. And I'm out. Peace.